I started out with very limited education. I dropped out of school uh, just before my 15th birthday and I never went back to school. But as time went on, I realized that without more knowledge than I had, I had no power. So I've spent a lifetime garnering knowledge from a multiplicity of different sources. My first venture was a discharge from the Army, and I went to Detroit, Michigan, where uh, I slept under a bush in the park for five days without eating as a discharged soldier that had spent all of his money. And then, quite by accident, I ended up buying a restaurant, and I had a nickel and a penny in my pocket when I bought this little restaurant for $1,200, and I borrowed the money from Household Finance and Seaboard Finance. They lent me the money to buy it, and that was the beginning. I was there for about one year, and then I sold it. I paid $1,200, I sold it for $1,900, and I was $700 in pocket, and that was what I started out with and began to build on from there. No one is born smart. We all create our own knowledge in order to be smart. And yes, we get smarter as we create the knowledge, but it does not form into your head. I mean, when we are children, we don't even know how to go to the bathroom. It's proof positive because somebody said, oh, you were born smart. Well, that's not true. We gain knowledge by study, by work, by research on whatever it is. I started out thinking I'd be a specialist, but I had no knowledge to be a specialist. So I had to become a generalist just by the lack of knowledge. When I didn't know anything about a given subject, I went always to the bookstore and I bought 20 books on the subject that I was looking at. I sat down and read two or three of them that were darn good on the subject I was interested in. I began to think, well, what I have to do is be the creative one. And so I began to read, study, and do things that other people were not willing to do. Because when you come out of school, many people say, I'm educated. I never was educated, I never could say that. I educated myself. I began to build one little tiny house. The house cost $33,800 to build. And I sold it for a profit of about a little over $900. And then I went on to build the second house and the third house. And then I was building hundreds of houses. Then I built thousands of houses. Then I built office buildings. Then I traveled America and I built office buildings in smaller towns. And I bought other different kinds of companies that went with the building business, such as the brick business and cement business and sand business and granite business and on and on. And I just kept buying and building and I bought many different kinds of transportation companies. I just kept expanding into all fields and using the power of knowledge that I kept garnering every time I learned something about a new venture. I've spoken in, I would say, a major portion of the universities in America. Everybody says, well, tell me, how do you get wealthy? I would like to do what you did. I said, if you're willing to work as hard and willing to work as long as I did, you can be successful. I taught lots of people along life's way how to be successful. I say that a generalist makes the money and a specialist does the work. So I go back to what I said, knowledge is power. With all thy getting, get thee knowledge, Shakespeare said. Well, I've learned that you gotta have energy. There's a few things that you must have for success. You gotta have a lot of energy. You gotta be willing to work long and hard at something. I don't care what it is that you're learning. You gotta study and you really gotta learn. Many people are superficial about uh, their garnering of knowledge. They're easily satisfied. I always wanted to know the last little thing about everything. 
And then I thought I wanted to try to change it and make it work into the sphere of interest that I began to be more and more interested in. The keys to success. Everyone can get, everyone can get. But most people do not realize. Sometimes we're taught too much in school to be organized. I say organization destroys creativity. The first thing I want to do is be creative. I don't think too hard about organizing. But you cannot rise to the top without energy, without desire, without knowledge, without constant work, and without the love of success. I don't know, I, I've got a lot of pride. Uh, you always have to have pride. Anyone that's successful has pride. I would have to say I am currently uh, in North Carolina, I am building the largest uh, uh, scientific center, I think, in America today. Uh, and I have eight universities on my campus. Uh, I own all of the land, I own all of the buildings, and I have created and brought together eight universities. And we are doing many different studies on how to be healthy, how to live a long, successful life. People know more about how to take care of their car and the tires and the windshields and and everything else than they know about taking care of their body. So knowledge is power in everything, even about how to take care of yourself, how to be healthy and how to stay healthy. There is a diminution of desire in everybody. I'd be bragging if I said I was always happy with what I do because all of us are lazy. I'm lazy. Fortunately for me, it only happens once in a while, maybe two or three times out of the year, I think, oh, I'm sick and tired of working. I gotta tell everybody that they, you can't walk away from yourself. We all have down periods. We all have times when we think we aren't successful. We think everybody else is smarter than I am. I still think that at times. So I don't want to put myself up as being someone that knows I'm always perfect, always. I'm not. I made plenty of failures. Uh, I would, would, if you had me talking about failures that I have had, I'd take a little while to explain them all. We don't like to talk about our failures. And we all have them. Anybody that doesn't say they've had failures is a liar. And your failures teach you far more than your successes. Well, in order to do the impossible, you must see the invisible. And in order to be successful, you must have to know that there is a possibility of failure because failure and success are very closely allied and not very far apart. But you gotta make sure that your knowledge that you have garnered on a new subject is better than the opportunity for failure. And you can't say, oh, I got all the knowledge I need. You have to keep constantly garnering new knowledge, new knowledge in order to be successful at something. As soon as you say, I'm gonna sit back and take it easy, if you don't take it easy, it becomes a failure. I've been willing to win minorly and I have lost minorly. I invested one time in a situation, and this is not one I would explain too much, but I invested $50 million in a company, and that company only lasted for a year and a half, and I lost the $50 million. So I won't tell you what company that was, but that was a very sad thing for me. <laughs> if you want to see a grown man cry, that was me. <laughs> you have to keep adjusting. You find out something doesn't work, so you got to do something different. You do something different, still didn't work, you got to keep on trying. If at first you don't succeed, keep on trying. Isn't that the old adage? And that's what I think. If at first I don't succeed, I'm not about to stop because I only like success, and I can't get success if I stop. Yes, I'll say today, 
with an eighth grade education that I had, I wouldn't hire anybody like that today. Sad to say. I look at people, do they have a graduate degree for an upper echelon job? I think a master's is very important. It's not mandatory. It depends on the job you want to do. But you have to be a master of yourself and then a master of what it is that you want to do. The first thing I look at, that's only a matter of a few seconds, is are they properly groomed? Are they trying to impress me? If they're not trying to impress me, <laughs> they're not probably going to get the job, right? When I go in to sell something that I want to sell or buy something I want to buy, I try to look the way I think I should look for what it is I want to do. Thank you.